guys and welcome back to my channel it has been what like not even a minute it's just been crazy it's been a crazy period and my heart goes to all of you out there who are finding this period really hard and difficult like it's been hard for me too uh and yeah it's just yeah it's a bit it's a bit of a weird one and you know what i haven't actually i've i've had um videos that i've recorded and i wanted to put out but i just felt like does it even make sense putting them out like that feeling and i just said you know what let me turn on the camera and just be as real as i can be in this point and pour out my heart to you guys because sometimes you just feel like you need someone to listen to you and for me this is actually therapeutic and um again it's a video that i just want to create uh for your um uh listening and obviously if you feel in the same position feel free to share comments down below feel free to write about how you feel or feel free to contact me directly on my social platform i'm always there to hear from you guys and you know hear from you uh, hear from you guys and yeah so i have my phone on me as i feel like if not i'm just gonna talk too much and also um there are different parts that i really want to address so first of all the first one is how is actually life for a PhD student in this pandemic so as you all know uh, the physician associate course is a two years master program that is what i chose to do and basically um we go full-time uni like literally it's full-time and some university depending on which one you go they do they provide their teaching differently so they might provide your teaching in blocks uh my university for the first year you get continuous teaching from the start of the year to june and after june we start our hospital rotation uh our first official hospital rotation which for me is meant to be amu well, I was going to GP placement prior to the lockdown and uh, GP placement at the time was two days a week and then the other three days we would go to uni. So once the lockdown was announced, our university decided to, again, lockdown <laughs> as uh, been instructed and providing us with online lectures. So I'm just going to touch on that a bit, uh, how I feel. So online lectures, they've been quite good. Uh, the resources we are getting are really good. And I am happy to have uh, lecturers that are willing to go out of their way to ensure that we are getting as many and as much resources that we need in order to uh, be able to, you know, go through this pandemic. Uh, but at the same time, I will be honest, it doesn't feel the same as being in class. Uh, I'd say my productivity level has gone down massively. And this is not to do with, uh, um, how would I say, this is not to do, it's, this is no one's fault. And it is normal. So if you're feeling that way, it is normal. They do say that a certain environment can increase or decrease your productivity level. And definitely staying at home <laughs> is done the worst <laughs> to me but uh i'm trying to keep my highs up by um following a lot of pas around on social media because most of them do share a lot of educational content and i read those and you know there is other ways to learn you know it's not just one way so sometimes i'll be at home just watching movies sometimes i'll go to work and sometimes i just um uh stay on instagram so again it, everyone de uh, defers so don't feel like you're alone uh for me uh, i feel like yeah um I've, I've not been as productive as i would be and when i say productive i mean in terms of writing my notes i've really struggled so far so we're on our last module and i've really really struggled writing my notes especially for neurology and obzangani so yeah uh, that is what it is but yeah i hope this uh goes away really quickly because uh, i miss my friends and uh luckily we do have a whatsapp group so we uh talk most of the time during the week and share our knowledge share you know our thoughts on this period because you know it's hard and it's hard on everyone so yeah 
I did say I work so yes I work in a hospital uh, I do admin and I also do uh, some um, health H HCA healthcare assisting role so I am considered an a key worker so yes i still go to work sometimes uh but i try not to do as much as i don't want it to interfere with my studies okay. another thing is um during this period i have been collaborating a lot uh with uh different pas on instagram mainly and it's something i really love again you can use this time to network with people socialize and yeah, so I feel like that's also helped me in finding out more about different PAs around the UK and not just that, uh, we managed to do a lovely video on the Don't Rush uh, challenge and I basically wrote to as many PAs as I knew uh, to collaborate with me on this and I'll leave a video on here, a mini snippet and it was really nice, it was such a fun thing to do, I loved putting the video together and it just made me happy and, and realise how uh, PAs around the UK are working as a community, you know, we're there for each other and I think that is such an amazing thing, especially within the field, so yeah uh, once again, I love that and like Life has been for me really so again I said we have online lectures I work but I've noticed lately that I have been loving loving so much uh, baking so I have if you know me I hate baking I just hate getting my hands dirty but I kind of work around that I found a way to work around that so it's not as bad as I used to think it was but um, yeah I've been enjoying making new recipes so cooking I love cooking so I've been enjoying uh, you know experimenting with things and yeah so I feel like in that aspect quarantine has given us a chance to be able to learn uh, new skills that you can do within your home so again it's all about staying at home and protecting yourself so yeah so i feel like um that's a positive positive thing and what else do i feel like i have done during this quarantine well i've been able to enjoy makeup again so i do do my makeup like if i'm going live another thing i've been doing is collaborating as i said with different pas so i do go live with different pas and talk about different topics so make sure you're following me at p.a.glambastefania on instagram and make sure you don't miss out on our lives and again there's so many other physician associates that are doing the lives and um having different uh, pas and medics collaborating so again if you're a waiter like me and you love um seeing other people's work definitely i'll say check out instagram there's so much just put physician associate as your hashtag and you would see so many pictures of many of us and you can just follow and uh yeah and i've been loving a physician associates um live she goes live and she provides services like um uh communication skills um what's the other one that i really love oski practices every thursday so that is something i am not missing because a lot of things we don't get told at uni she is telling us everything especially if you're a second year peer student and you're on your finals i would recommend for sure that you um follow her and follow our oski's uh live stories because they're at the bump.com also another thing i want to say i have been working so much on my website and providing my sessions so my, one of my popular sessions this period as you all know is one-to-one -one interview sessions a lot of pa students that have applied to begin their course in september are having to do online interviews and it can be daunting so i have been providing a service where i run through questions and just run through uh different interview t uh, tips uh that can be beneficial to a positive outcome in securing that peer offer and being able to then do what you would want to do which is to become a physician associate so that is another thing that i have been doing during this quarantine and i absolutely love it uh, it's been it's made me you know talk to people and it's just nice seeing 
seeing people be at the position I was a year ago when I was actually going to all the different interviews and I was so nervous and it's just amazing to see how just talking to someone can change and I've been receiving lots of con constructive feedback and positive feedback some of which I've already gotten offers and it's just amazing to see and I am happy so and finally I just want to say guys you're not alone it's just been a weird situation for everybody across and across the world really globally and yeah uh, I just say reach out to people that your family your friends uh, just don't feel like you're alone you know and I also encourage and I invite actually uh, some of my peers that are vloggers here on uh, YouTube Johnny White and see me all smiles please I would really love to see and uh, yeah what your story has been as PA students uh, you know during this quarantine so feel free to actually make a video and tell us your experience i would really want to know and i think it's going to be helpful to everyone watching out there thank you so much for being with me guys it's been just amazing and yeah Whew. should i do this video or should i not do this video i don't really know i don't know oh well it is what it is.